So what is content creation? Basically, it's just creating content that is engaging to your customers. So then that way you can keep them in the loop that you're always staying top of mind. Now, why is creating content important? It is because it makes your customers feel that they're part of the journey, that they're part of your tribe. And why is that the case? Why is that important? Because when they're part of your tribe, when they're part of your journey, then they'll always be there to support you. That means you don't need to worry about the same person selling the same product. You don't need to worry about your competitors and you don't need to worry about charging an extra 10% if um, if your uh, people around the block is charging less. You don't need to worry about that because now you can charge a premium. People are much more willing to support you even though you might be a little bit more expensive because they're part of your journey and part of your tribe. That's the reason why some people can charge like $30, $40 a burger because they have really, really engaged audience. Now, the different eight, the eight types of content you should be creating. First up, business and brand, product, lifestyle, testimonial and product reviews, behind the scenes, user generated content, themed, timely content, and promotions and campaigns. These are the different types of content you're going to be creating for your Instagram shop. And we're going to be diving deep and deep into each of these in detail right now. First up, business and brand. It introduces your brand to new customers. So basically, these are the items that tell people when you started, why you started, some of the, your goals, your values, your stories, your milestones. Because keep in mind, when people are scrolling through Instagram and they land on your page, they have no clue what you're selling. They have no clue who you are. They have no clue who is it that is creating the product and what is your mission in creating it. Some of you might have a very, very clear reason of why you're creating the items, but then your customers have no clue about that. And that's the reason why you need to create content and to show people why you're doing what you're doing. It updates on your business, for example, all hours of operations, holiday breaks, closures, and et cetera, et cetera. These are all items you can create as content to post on your social media. This can be coming in a form of either, either a photo, a video, or a story as, as a way to showcase to your customers all these different types of items that are about your business and about your brand. Next up, product. Share photos and videos of your actual product. Make sure that you showcase to them. A lot of people make this mistake is that they only tell people very vaguely what you sell, but you never show people your product. And that is not the best thing to do because if you don't showcase your product, then people have no clue what they're buying. And on top of that, food sells itself on Instagram. So definitely post lots of photos of your food item, okay? And then also add in photo tagging if you already have your Instagram shop set up. As you can see right here, you can actually add the tags on here so when people click on it, then they can start buying from you straight from this Instagram post. If you wanna learn more about that and how to do that, go back to module five and lesson five. We covered that in detail, okay? Let people what are the different type of items that you're offering because this is a great way to increase your sales and to promote your business. This can come in the form of either photo, video, or story as well. Now, keep in mind, you don't wanna bombard people with just product photos, product photos all the time because that just becomes boring. And that's the reason why we're creating eight different types of content. Now, content style number three, lifestyle. Show photos of your product in action with human presence. Why is it that we wanna incorporate a human element into this rather than just show always photo shooting our product? It is because it humanizes your product. It can show people enjoying your meal kit, people pouring drink from uh, made from your kit whatsoever because this just acts another uh, dynamic action into your photos. And it also provides much more realistic way of people either using your items or just people can actually see themselves doing the exact same thing without you telling them to do so. Once again, this just acts another dimension to this type of photos. Now this can be coming in the form of either photo, video, or story as well. Next up, testimonials and product reviews. This is a very important item to add onto your 
content creation process because when you're able to showcase testimonials about your product and the feedback you receive from your product and from your customers, then it shows potential customers and gives them trust, gives them an idea of, oh wow, someone has tried it and they enjoyed it then that means that they have much more of a, a, a confidence to trying your items out. So that's the reason why you must always have testimonials and product reviews on as part of your posts, because this just increases the chances of your customers ordering from you. <clears throat> it also builds a lot of social proof about what other people say about you means a lot more than what you say about yourself. Once again, what other people say about your brand has a lot more weight than what you say about yourself. And that's the reason why having the testimonials are a great way to showcase and to flex your product and your brand. This being can be in a photo form, a screenshot of the testimonial, right? Or it could be a graphic form, create a quote like this one, a quote, oops, a quote right here of the testimonial. So then that way you can really highlight what people are saying about your food brand. And this is a really great way and people are liking how this is done. Okay, next up behind the scenes. Behind the scenes are also a very, very great way of showcasing some personality in your business. It shows your audience what you do and what goes on behind the scenes. And a lot of people love this. They love the rawness of what you provide. So it show you can show people how you make the product, your team working, creating the kits, and it, also is a really great way to humanize your brand and to create this transparency because people buy from people. They don't buy from businesses. Once again, people buy from people. They like to support one another. And if you show them that you're part of the journey and that you're building up and so it's less polished, they're much more likely to support you and buy from you. This could be in the form of photo, video, and story as well. Next up, user-generated content, leveraging off the real-life content created by your customers. Now, how do you find real-life content? We talked about hashtags. Hashtag is a really great way to find what people are saying about your brand. Click on their hashtags, and you're gonna be able to find what people are saying about your brand, or you can actually click on the tagged picture icon right here, and you're gonna be able to see a bunch of different tag photos from your customers, okay? Always ask for permission before using their posts and to post into your public account because some people like it, some people don't like that. Also, how you can do that is that you can just simply DM them, tell them how much you enjoyed their product, thank you for enjoying our product and how you love their picture and if you can repost and tag them for a photo credit. And a lot of times, I would say like nine out of 10 times, people would say yes. They like it when, and they feel important. They feel like, wow, what I posted and what I tagged got the attention of the owners and they feel that they're important. And that's the reason why nine to 10 out of 10 people would like that. This also shows that your stuff is real and has much more credibility. This is not just some kind of like corporate environment that you're in. This is real life items that, um, that people are buying. This could be as a repost of a photo that's happening. And then themed timely content. What are themed timely content? These are basically what is in the holidays, the national holidays, the special holidays, this gives you and gives you an ability to create content inspired by holidays. So for example, Christmas is a really big one, 4th of July, Halloween, National Ice Cream Days. These are great ways to create content, great holidays for you to actually create content around and create different themes and campaigns around. And this I find is one of the best ways to create relevant content that people enjoy. For example, if you're thinking about, hey, what kind of holiday and if you're lacking inspiration, then simply go Google public holidays in Canada or public holidays in the United States or wherever you are, type that in and you're gonna be able to find all the public holidays. Now, another really great tool for you is this link. Click on this link because it shows you all the fun and random holidays that you can use as well. For example, National Hot Dog Day or National Hot Chocolate Day. And these are just really interesting and fun random holidays that you can use to create content on about if it is relevant to your product. So have fun with this. This gives you a reason to create either new flavors, new content, 
all the time because once again, it is timely and it is relevant. People like to share things that are relevant. If you're out of date, people won't talk about you. So always create timely content. This could be in the form of photos, videos, or graphics as well. And lastly, promotions and cam campaigns. This is the type of content you create whenever you have promotions or campaigns that you are running. For example, flash sales, Christmas specials, branded collaborations, discounts, or just telling people to buy in general. This is a great way for people to take action after, okay? Key here is that after you created a bunch of value, created a bunch of engaging content that you showed your customers, and now is a great time for you to ask for something in return. When Gary Vee wrote the book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, what he really means, okay, is a great resource is that you always want to provide value, 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 and then you ask for something in return. And most likely when you ask for something in return after that person has received so much value from you, they are much more willing to reciprocate and they're much more willing to take action because they have received so much value. Same thing here, provide value, 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 and then ask for something in return, okay? The average ratio that you should be looking for is that four to one, okay? What that means is that your other type of contents versus your promotion, you should have at least four different types of contents before you ask for something in return. So for example, you can talk about your vision, you can talk about your mission, you can show them behind the scenes and you can show them lifestyle picture and then you tell them to come and buy. That's the type of ratio that you should be looking for when it comes to running, uh, creating content for your Instagram food location. Okay, this could be in the form of photo, video, or graphics as well. Now, a pro tip for you is that when you're writing captions, don't be afraid to use your voice. You don't always need to be professional. Talk to your customers as if they were friends because they're much more receptive like that. Be you, have your character, and don't be afraid to shine through the screen. Next up, always end your caption with a call to action. A lot of people make this mistake is that they want people to buy, they want people to take action, but they never tell people to take action. Call to action is so, so important. It increases the likelihood of your customers or people that are looking at your feed. That chance of them making that, um, that action increases by more than 30%. What does that mean? That means more than three people would take action if only you just tell them to do so, okay? So definitely you can tell them to buy, you can tell them to order, you can tell them to share, ask them a question, do whatever the case you would want, but always, always end your caption with a call to action, okay? I know some of you might be worried about people not responding, people not engaging when you ask them questions. It is completely fine because it takes a lot of time to build a good community and it takes time to build engagement. So understanding that, know for a fact that the first half a year to a year of you posting and asking for call to action and engagement, people won't engage. Completely fine with that. People, majority of the people online are lurkers. They're just people that are scrolling and they don't like to be seen, which is completely okay. But the consistency will pay off. And I'm telling you that so you can expect it, expect the next year with little to no engagement, but still keep doing that because I can guarantee you that it will pay you back in dividends when you are consistent with this, okay? Now it is your turn. Plan out your 15 posts with a different type, different content type, five product, five lifestyle, three brand, two behind the scenes on a Word document. This is just an example. You can mix and match the different types of content you're creating. Use the Instagram master sheet down in below, download it and use it to your liking, okay? Customize it, go to the content creation planning page and fill out your content type. 